What's up guys, welcome to Mad About Cake. I'm your host Joshua John Russell, and this week I'm super excited because we're making a cake for the premiere of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. We're gonna build a chocolate cake filled with ganache. We're gonna shape it into a volcano and a little T-Rex to go with it. To start, we're gonna build our structure for the Tyrannosaurus Rex. So, I have this armature that's made for sort of like a person running, but I'm gonna take it apart and manipulate it to look like the inside of a dinosaur, or at least the structure part. Like dinosaur bones? Yes, it's just like the structure to hold the skin on. Man about paleontology. There you go. <laughs> so I'm actually gonna do this, I'm gonna hot glue this together. If you've never seen our show before, every Tuesday we make fun cakes. Sometimes trendy stuff, sometimes things I just wanna make. Sometimes I make cakes for the boys. And I had a really epic fight with a hot glue gun on um, an episode where I made an octopus. You should check that out, it was really funny. Uh, I think it's gonna be okay today though. We, we're friends, Famous right? last words. We're friends. Okay, I'm gonna start by hot gluing the bottom. So this is gonna be one foot here. This will be her left foot. And I'm putting her on something separate because when the cake is done and eaten, I can take her off and actually save her because she'll be made out of chocolate. Right. Leg number one. What would you use the old chocolate dinosaur for? Um, uh, you can keep her forever. Oh. I'll probably put her back there maybe. <laughs> so this will be the foot. The leg kind of comes up, it goes this way. Do you just have this memorized? Oh, well, I can kind of figure it out how it stands, you know? I've seen it a lot of times, okay? This one next. Okay, so this is a leg. And then we'll use the cross section here. Sorry, buddy, I'm ripping this guy apart. It's like a puzzle. Here's one leg. So we'll throw on her tail here. Do you guys remember where you were when you saw the first Jurassic Park? I saw them all in the theater. The last Jurassic World, I saw twice as an adult man in the theater alone. <laughs> Still not ashamed. I was pretty scared when I first saw it. I was terrified. Were you? Terrified. Are you kidding me? They're so realistic. So there, that's the start of the structure. So you get it like Now we're gonna glue all of our joints using uh, hot glue. All right, she looks good. So I'm actually gonna build the center of her with a little bit of aluminum foil so we don't use so much modeling chocolate. God, you really do get a lot for your money. This would be a fun dinosaur thing. <laughs> Was that good or no? I mean, I think it looks just like her already. Use some modeling chocolate. If you guys have never used this, this is just chocolate mixed with corn syrup or some sort of inverted sugar, and it ends up being this awesome like clay that you can manipulate. All right, I'm gonna start with the body. So I'm gonna roll a piece out. <clears throat> it's gonna look weird until it looks great, so bear with me. That's what my mom told me. So then you can take your tools and use to smooth. She's gonna move a little bit. But once all the chocolate gets on her and it hardens, she's gonna be rock hard. This is a dinosaur texture maker, also known as a ball of aluminum foil. <laughs> So I'm just gonna keep adding pieces and building onto her. So I got the general shape of the body. I'm gonna start working on the head, doing this separate. Open it up here and I'm kind of carving out the inside to make a cavity. Dinosaur. Oh, Velociraptor. Clever girl. Mm -hmm. From the movie, my favorite dinosaur is Blue. Blue? She's the one that's trained and she listens to her trainers. And in the last movie, she helped defeat the Adonis Rex, which was this extra terrifying dinosaur. Hey, hey, spoiler alert. 
Okay, I'm gonna add an arm here. It's like me when I have a middle seat. On the plane and I'm trying to work. <laughs> did, did you know the Stegosaurus is Colorado State's dinosaur? Y'all have a state dinosaur? Yeah. Colorado is known as the Stegosaurus State. First ever Stegosaurus skeleton was found near Morrison, Colorado. All right, I'm gonna make some little holes for her thin nose. Look, I even got neck veins. Did you know the Stegosaurus was the dumbest dinosaur? Really? Yeah. How do they know that? Well, its brain was the size of a walnut. It was Aww. only three centimeters long. <laughs> She could do our emails. <laughs> I'm gonna make one more vein. Comes down here, because when you scream like. Call him dad veins. And dad's mad? Oh yeah. Whoa, you made that look like a real vein. You guys are always surprised that I can do stuff. Every episode you're like, wow, you really pulled that off. Right, I think she looks pretty terrifying. I'm gonna noodle this a little bit more. The next up, we're gonna make our logo. So what I did was I printed out the logo and I laminated it and cut it out and then cut that out of gum paste. And I think it looks super rad. The problem with the logo is the teeth are so tiny, I'd have to be like ee, 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 and my hands are really hot, so I'm gonna pipe the teeth with roll icing. And if anybody in here has a tooth missing, let me know. <laughs> So now we'll leave this to dry and then I'll paint it. So this cake is going to be epically large. We have the dinosaur and we also have the volcano. So I've got this giant piece of wood, which is probably the biggest cake plate I've ever had in my life. So we're gonna build it uh, chocolate cake and chocolate buttercream, carve it out, and then we're gonna cover the whole thing in chocolate ganache. It is gonna be triple chocolate goodness. How many layers of cake do you got there? I've got a lot. <laughs> we may not use them all. She did not want to let go of that cake, but she did. By the way, if you guys want any of my recipes that are in the eye above me or the description box below, and the chocolate cake is so good. So when you get the recipe, you actually have to put it in your cart and it tells you to check out, but your total will be zero. I promise, they are free recipes. Wait, zero dollars? Zero dollars is zero cents. All right, now it's time to carve the volcano out. More garbage cake. Let's cut it to this beast. I'm just trying to get the shape, so I'm cutting off pieces and then moving them around. The volcano has like these ridges, so I'm trying to recreate that where the lava will flow down. I'm using some extra garbage cake just to build the volcano out a little bit more. There's really no technique to carving a volcano. You just kind of have to get your hands dirty. I got my volcano into a pretty good shape. Now I'm gonna grab my ganache and we'll give it a coat. But before we ganache this thing, I have to make a secret compartment, which will be this guy, that we can put some dry ice in to make the smoke later. So we're gonna cut a hole in the top of the volcano, like a real volcano would have. Do you wanna know what the inside of a volcano tastes like? Yes. Chocolate cake. Well, I'll be. Now let's ganache it. So to make the vegetation, I'm actually gonna use desiccated coconut and graham crackers. So I'll have it all busted up here in a Ziploc bag, and then I'm gonna add some powdered food color to it. I've got a little bit of yellow, I've got some sort of minty sort of green, spring green, and then a darker green. We'll dump a little bit of yellow in here. Let's do all the yellow. Some green. Desiccated coconut sounds so extreme to me. Does it? I've got desiccated it got coconut. Desiccated. I'm 
coming for you, desiccated coconut, this Sunday. Let's see what it looks like. Beautiful. Good stuff. Now we're gonna cover the whole volcano. And then I actually made a couple of panels. So what I did was I rolled out some green gum paste and then I covered it in uh, the moss. So then we can make some areas that are a little bit raised like this to give it a little bit more dimension. And once again, I'm not gonna worry about any of the color that's on the outside because I'm gonna airbrush this whole thing. The ganache is set pretty good up here. I think I might need the torch, my favorite tool. Hold on. Remember Joshua, we have to have a fire extinguisher before you start using this. Do you have one? Uh, well, I guess it's too late now. <laughs> Just want to get it a little bit wet. Volcano likes to be massaged. <laughs> She's a very delicate creature. She could explode at any time. Yeah, don't don't so make her mad. I'm not gonna make her mad. She gets whatever she wants. This is, is how the volcano sounds. Is that her voice? Yeah. 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 Lay off me, I'm starving. <laughs> All right, you ready to so for some makeup? Yeah. We're gonna airbrush you. Oh, cool. Yeah, go get the airbrush. What are you waiting on? Okay, okay, I'm going, I'm going. Starting with a little bit of yellow for some highlights. Adding a little brown and a little green together to get a darker color. Now it's time to paint the dinosaur. So I have a bunch of colors here. I have some confectioner's glaze, and then I also have some confectioner's glaze wash. So this is gonna go kind of like airbrushing on the volcano. We're gonna do it in layers. Put colors on, take some off, change it up a little bit to get it just the way I want it. We'll start with brown. I'm using a mixture of brown, black, and yellow to create layers, and then I'll take my wash and pull some of the color off to get the exact hue I want. Now that I've got her all painted, I'm gonna add her teeth and her tongue. I already made some of the teeth because they get really warm when you sort of whittle them down. So I let them sit for a minute so they would get cold, and now I can handle them. Now I'm gonna paint the logo. I'm gonna do this with black airbrush. Now it's time to add the lava. So I have some mirror glaze here that I added white to. I'm gonna pipe it in white and I'm gonna airbrush it. Starting with yellow and just kind of making an outline, I'm gonna go back over with orange, but I wanna keep some of the white as well. This volcano erupts chicken eggs. <laughs> over, over easy. Hey, uh, the volcano's erupted hollandaise sauce. Now I'm gonna add some dirt, the logo, and a few final touches. I'm using leftover cake crumbs that dried out just a bit for my dirt. I made some rocks out of fondant that I marbled. I'm gonna airbrush those as well. Now 
Now I'm gonna glue my Jurassic logo to the rock with white chocolate. Our Jurassic World cake is all finished. I think she turned out super rad. For some of you, the movie is already out. In the US, it comes out this Friday, June 22nd. Go see the movie, come back here, leave a comment, tell me what you thought about it, because I'm so excited. Next week, we're gonna make an under the sea cake. Let's cut her. Mm. How am I gonna get this into the theater? We can play a game. What's Joshua Payton? Chicken wing. Nope, dinosaur. She's gotta be roaring like rawr. That's terrible. That was not a super impressive sound, no. Sorry. Joshua, put your head over me again. That's what our children will look like. Half volcano, half Joshua. We're pretty. 